to your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the stories we are following tonight. Happening tomorrow, the parents of the accused Oxford school shooter are due back in court. James and Jennifer Crumbly are both charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter for making a gun available to their son and failing to intervene on the day of the shooting. Both have pleaded not guilty to all counts. They're due back in court for a preliminary exam. Dozens of witnesses are expected to testify. All the dogs that we got from there are actually very friendly dogs. Um, these dogs were at the end of, end of a chain, didn't know when the next meal was coming. Genesee County Animal Control sharing an update on the dogs found in an animal abuse investigation. In late December, officers discovered eight neglected dogs at a home. Last week, the county sheriff's office arrested the suspect, 40-year-old Christopher Hatchett. Once in custody, he signed over ownership of all the dogs to animal control. Seven out of eight are now up for adoption. New tonight, another Michigan man has been charged in the Capitol riot. 63-year-old Matthew Thomas Kroll of Linden made his initial appearance in front of a judge today after being arrested yesterday. Investigators say on January 6th, he pushed forward through a crowd near the Capitol steps and threw a water bottle at police officers. He's also accused of grabbing an officer, spinning him around and stealing his baton before striking officers with it. According to court documents, he is the self-professed executive officer of the Genesee County Volunteer Militia. The case is still under investigation. And now here's Chris with your forecast. David, a cold night ahead of us tonight. It does look like we've got some upper single numbers to low teens around the tri-cities and areas to the south. To the north, a little bit cooler. Either way, not unexpected for late February. Your first one, five pinpoint Doppler radar tonight also shows any snow showers from earlier today have started to wind down and will be quiet through the first half of the day tomorrow. It's not until tomorrow evening that we start to see snow move back in. It looks like an arrival time later in the day, so the morning is just fine. And even through the afternoon bus stops and evening commutes, we should be fine too. But the arrival time starts to move back in as we go towards 8 or 9 o'clock. It will overspread the region as we work through the late evening and overnight and then bring plenty of snow for the morning commute on Friday. The good news is it ends by lunchtime, so the afternoon and evening drive should be better, but a messy start to the last day of the work week. How much snow are we expecting? Generally about 1 to 4 inches around the TV5 viewing area. The best, uh, best chance at that top end potential in the southern sections of the TV5 viewing area. Your seven day forecast shows partly cloudy skies on Saturday, one of the nicer days of the next seven, dry next week, Monday through Wednesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.